Hi guys, it's this Meredith coming to you from up in northern Michigan where the air is clear and the water is crystal blue. And I have a co-host today, Ed's with me here, and he would just like to be in the camera. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you today about the light and how light shines in the darkness. Um, so I came up here to get focused, um, to focus on what God has for me to do next. The one thing that he's got for me to do ne next, which is part of my gifts and so that I'm not running around trying to do a million things and, you know, manage everything. Like, of course, you know, I want to do. And so I came in here up here to refocus, to reset. And it's funny because that's a lot of, you know, I'm lucky to be here, but a lot of what I do with Healthy Voices try to help you get refocused, reset on what what God's what God's guiding you to, what what's true about him, so that you're not getting stuck in all the stuff that's going on in your life. And I'm blessed to be up here to do it in this place, but I'm doing it because God is guiding the vision that he's gonna help you with through through whatever he does in me. So anyway, um so I'm up here and just resting and reflecting and and last night I went outside and it was freezing and there was this gorgeous, gorgeous kind of sliver of sun coming beneath the clouds above the above the water and it was just this golden hue. So I went out and took a picture, posted it on Instagram and funny I the scripture that came to mind was um Actually, Proverbs sixteen nine. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. And it was like this sunset was this masterpiece that God was creating with all these different colors and hues, and and it was all in His own design and His own timing, and much like He does in our our own lives. And I'm watching this, and I'm kind of a so I would consider myself a sunset chaser. Like I will chase whatever's happening with the sunset and I will run outside like I did last night every time I saw a new you know setting of it it was like I have to go out and take a picture um but a lot of times you just have to experience the wonder and and worship and um so it in part way through this I come inside and I do the I start working on this message because the sunset has inspired me and it gets the light gets a little brighter and and the sky kind of opens up and it just gets like a bright yellow and I'm getting happier I'm like yay how fun and so I go out and take another picture and just stand in the wonder stand in the presence of of what he can do it's just amazing and I go back inside and I sit down in this chair which is right next to the window I'd show you but the sun glare won't show you the lake and the sun literally starts crazy glowing right in my face, like almost directly to me sitting in the chair. And it just, I could not stop smiling because it was like, God was just saying, I am the light. I am here and I am shining on you. And I want you to focus on me and seek me first, seek seek nothing else first, because I am the light. And it was just an awesome display of his wonder to show me, you know, this message that he wanted to, to send me. And it's funny because I was reading Jesus Calling this morning, and um, it was all about staying in the light of my presence, receiving forgiveness, cleansing, and healing. Remember that I have clothed you in my righteousness, so nothing can separate you from me. Whenever you stumble or fall, I am there to help you up. And I love this. But I am the light of the world, and my illumination decimates the darkness. I mean, that is just powerful words. Come close to me and let my light envelop you, driving out darkness and permeating you with peace. And a bunch of verses about light came to me. I'll put them in the blog, and I'm going to have a little bit more in the blog on this message because I want to keep the video short but um, two verse a couple things more than two a couple verses the people living in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of the shadow of death a light has dawned Matthew four sixteen. your word is a lamp unto my feet Psalm 119 105 you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. 
Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 14 to 16. John 1, 5. Um, the light shines in darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Overcome it. John 8, 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And when he predicts his death, he says to them, John 12, 35 to 36, you are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Believe the light while you have the light so that you may become children of the light. So I came back inside and, and just sat in stillness to watch the end of that sunset because it was so cold outside. And there were three words that came to me. Um, rest in me, three phrases, rest in me, trust in me, seek me. So that's what I'm going to leave with you, you with in this message today. Um, rest in him, trust him, seek him. And I just want you to think about maybe picture an absolutely gorgeous sunset and I'll post a couple pictures of this one and just imagine that it's one landscape. It's not one picture. It's a landscape that he is creating for us in our lives. He works it all together for his good and his glory. So I'm going to leave you with that. And um, sorry, I have a spastic ed. Uh, but the other thing is, you know, I want you to think about where in your life are you hiding your light? You know, are you focused on a million things and not focusing on the light, the gift that God has given you? Where is that? And try to get, get, get quiet, get still and let him guide you to that. So with that, Ed and I are going to give you a little peace out, and uh, <laughs> um, I hope you have an awesome Memorial Day weekend, and this, help, this message helped you in some way. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Have an awesome one. Bye-bye.